Hi guys and welcome to Mehe Mehe channel official. Right, uh, this morning, uh, the Mehe Mehe I've got is actually very distressing and is coming from Kenya. The reason I bring these stories from Kenya is because I am from Kenya and I love my loots. And, um, well, yeah, you got to be proud of where you come from. I'm proud of my accent. I'm proud of my food. Anyway, that's not the mehe mehe. Recent people, women, I'm going to talk to my ladies, married, po <laughs> pointies, people with partners. Guy, this lady, the story is on Lean Googie. It's very distressing. This lady called Catherine, she was tormented by her ex husband for almost 20 years she was a multi-millionaire and the man abused her physically emotionally materially financially and all this abuse was going on and she was still i'm sorry but i'm gonna have to attack the church again she was still going to the pastors for advice my people can we have pastors that are actually uh, studying counseling People who are studying how to do proper counseling, not just these things about people paying money so that there's a miracle that's going to be performed. Is it called miracles or offer or whatever sacrifices that is going to be performed? I, I, I felt very bad at the ending. The story has been done by Jeremy Damaris and Lynn Gogi. Lynn Gogi is three hours and at the end when she said how she went to pastors after pastors after pastors some of these things you need to tell the women to get out help them to get out she needed to get out she didn't need these sacrifices being offered so that these spirits can stop following her Na action was needed sometimes it's action that is actually needed yes we pray for safe exit this lady said she would have left the marriage long time ago if she would have self, sorry, she would have felt safe. But because the ex was hiring people to follow her, they were following her with guns. She didn't feel safe. And this ex had told the lady, Catherine, that if she ever left the marriage, she's, she was going to be killed plus the child. The Catherine have only got one child. And this ex of hers had told her, if you ever try to run away, leave the marriage, I'm going to kill you with your child. So this is the reason why she tolerated for 20 years in an abusive, abusive relationship to the extent the man pulled her hair out up to here. My God, Catherine have got no hair. The, 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 the whole case was taken to the police station. You know, she has mentioned all these, you know, police stations in Kenya. My God, she needed to get out. All these pastors, I wish one of you could have offered her, even offer her your own house, you know, take her out, just find a way or offer her to see a solicitor. She, she's somebody, this lady is very wise. She's very intelligent. She's, she, she had money, but she didn't feel safe to actually learn away from this marriage. So, so many people have commented, yes, you should leave the marriage if you're not happy, blah, blah, blah. But she said she, she, she felt unsafe. So she had to just stay there because she had already been threatened that if she ever tried to run away, she'll be killed. But to the people I'm blaming is every, the people that she actually went to, she was going to church every Sunday. Let's look after people, our people. Your church is your, is your place of safety. You can actually even host somebody in the church. The church needs to stand up and start doing its duties. Stop asking for money, 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 money all the time. This has to stop. If you, you need to go, your church will be able to be a place of safety. Aha! This lady was going from one pastor to another pastor, from another pastor. They knew what was going on in her life. And none of all of these pastors, they were okay, they were offering prayers, but action was needed. This is my views. Actions was needed. So 
people just start uh examine yourself first of all are you going to the right church are you in the right environment eh? me i've changed churches i go to church O, and i'll criticize church O. i really criticize i go to church but i've moved from one church to another i am not a slave Asha, i am not so start examining your environment where you are staying do you feel supported yeah not just prayers prayers with no action is dead yes pray for me but at the same time if i have come to you and i don't have food provide me with food come on people it's time you start start, start stop being brainwashed so much that you are going to these churches they are telling you oh there's some spiritual warfare following you but you are not actually providing me with the action that is needed yes let's pray together yes prayers work god will open a door but at the same time yes if you have the manpower if you have the way to take me out of the situation that i'm in i need prayers and action anyway my guys i was so angry watching that uh video because i actually blamed mostly the church you did let her down you read that woman down and at the end she did get the help from several people who she who she has mentioned but she hasn't mentioned anybody from the church unless i didn't hear it properly <laughs> you know so church let's start doing our work properly yes let's do our work properly support the community with wisdom and knowledge not just prayers only with action as well Anyway, guys, I don't want to talk for too long. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe for my channel. I will still continue talking, bringing my views. And also, I think in Kenya, okay, with, I think women need somewhere they can ring or call. They need a safe place because it's too much. These stories of abuse, these men actually need to be arrested. Why can't that man be arrested? So many women have come on these channels. They've said how they were physically, physically abused. One after another. Why don't we have an organization of these women? Maybe they should form an organization which will be supporting other women. I'm sorry, I'm not in Kenya. But if there's a way this can be sorted, we need these men to be apprehended. They need to face the role. They, they, they should, I don't know, I know we say that, you know, karma will deal with them, but I think as well, you know, they need to be apprehended. All this abuse, that was assault, abuse, all these things they've done. Why are they being allowed to walk free? Yes, Kenya is corrupt, very corrupt. But actually, we need to, to start, start with ourselves and see whether we can even apprehend just one. We start with one. We may not be able to apprehend all these culprits walking free, but just one of them. Anyway, my guys, I don't want to talk for uh, 10 minutes, but don't forget to subscribe to Mehemehe Channel Official.